everybody. So I am here. At, my name is Katarina from Katarina's Garage, and I am here at the uh, uh, the Quick Ties Swap Meet here in Red Deer at the moment. Um, and looking for some parts. So far, been striking out because uh, I'm looking for a couple of 88 rear ends and a T5 transmission as well. Um, but those, are, I have only found one 88, and that was for not my application. That was for. Uh, adapted to a Mopar A body, so that's not gonna work for me. Um, plus, also, it was five lug, I want four lug. Um, yeah, so you know what, we'll see what I can find. Um, also, I'm on the search for guy messaged me this morning looking for some uh, small walk forward um, stuff actually for a, uh, a 71 to 73 Mustang. So. I'll see what I can find, but so far I found like one set of headers and they're just kind of one of these uh, universal types. So personal block forward, but anyways, let's go check some of the stuff out here. So, and as you can see, like it is quite packed in here. You know, there's lots of people and yeah, but anyways, let's check this out. This is a uh, an old Super 88. Honestly, very, very cool. I love this whole rat rod style that they've done with it. You know what? Slammed on the ground too. Nice wheels. Um, yeah, and also, it's interesting, this being a four-door hardtop, what I mean by hardtop is there's no B-pillar, right? So that is really neat. And honestly, I love the look at this thing. Now, this is probably, I don't know what year it is. Maybe a 60, I don't know, 66 or so? But it's absolutely gorgeous. Right? Now, let us continue on. We're looking at some of the cars here. I'm not gonna go through all the individual like stuff row by row because that, it's very, very crowded. So uh, here we have, a 48 uh, Chevy with a small block in it and a turbo 350. Honestly, gorgeous, gorgeous car. I love the paint. Very nice. These wheels are also sweet too. I love the uh, the knockoff look. Like obviously they're not knockoffs, but very nice. Clean install in there by the looks of it. Now this is just absolutely gorgeous. Very nice. Now, if you look inside here, you'll see some more modern bucket seats in it. Uh, Grand GT steering wheel and uh, more modern stereo in it. Very, very beautiful. And if you want, there's information on it. And yeah, so there we go. Moving on from that, we have this really cool El Camino. Now this one, I'd have to look at the front end to know what year it is, approximately. But, uh, very nice. Paint is absolutely gorgeous. Hey, look. Ooh, it's a manual, too. Very nice. That thing is sweet. There you go, let's say 67. And gotta love these uh, nice rally wheels that it has on it too, the Chevy rallies. And yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. You know, I love these El Caminos. Very much so. And you know, I wish Dodge would have made something like this because they made the Dodge Rampage in the 80s. And I like those too, but it's just not quite the same. It didn't have the jam that the earlier stuff did. Uh, meanwhile, Let's go over here to this sweet old Cutlass W30. Um, now this thing, I actually recognize this car because um, he's been at Street Wheelers a couple of times, right? Yeah, I think actually 2016 was the last time I was there. So uh, yeah. Very nice old Hurst Cutlass. Got the Hurst shifter down there. Uh, now what's interesting is it used to have the uh, 
um, the his and her shifter by the looks of it, but it's been swapped out for a B&M slapstick, which again, for performance, not too bad at all. Absolutely beautiful car. Like, very, very nice condition. You know, and she's definitely a bit of a sleeper, although when you fire her up, she's kind of loud. For very correctly, but... But yeah, and you can see, not your typical uh, cutlass. So, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, meanwhile, let's see. Oh, there we go. Now that's something you don't see every day. That is a 1940 Pontiac Coupe. Um, these things, well, you'll come across the Chevys. Um, mostly Chevys for this, but even then. And in this era, you usually find the Fords. So finding the Pontiac, very cool. Do I know anything about it? Not really. Um, yeah, see, this would have been called the Business Coupe. Just because bare bones for the most part. Like, it doesn't, didn't look like it had that much trim at all. So, that's one of the ways you can tell a lot of these if they were upgraded or not. It's a very nice shell, to be honest. Not really rusty at all. Well, absolutely gorgeous with some cool parts, too. Now, and that's actually the grill off of the 66 Beaumont. And you might be wondering, wait, what is a Beaumont? Well, actually, it's a Canadian-only Pontiac that was based off the Chevelle and basically had a, a Pontiac front end on it, different taillights, and Chevelle body with a uh, um, small block Chevy in it as well. So very, very cool. And now we are in room two. So if we take a look again, another big room, lots of stuff. And uh, yeah, so. Let's go hunt some stuff. Now, one of the more interesting vehicles in here, and to be honest, this is my favorite of all the Fox bodies. This is a 1984 Lincoln Mark VII. Now, the thing is, it's heavy, they're slow, but honestly, I love the look of them. It's just kind of that executive, really comfortable car. This one happens to be a Bell Blast Edition. Um, and yeah, they're one of the... Uh, with these as well, you can get them with air suspension. I don't know if this one has air or if it's on uh, coils. This one, yeah, I can't tell. But honestly, very nice condition overall. Like, a bit of scratches and things and stuff like that, but overall not too bad. Um, yeah, like an inside, because this is a Bill Blast edition, it's got all the really nice interior um, inside of it. And these were kind of the executive hot rod if you call it that, at the time. Which honestly, I really want one of these and someday I might get one. Oh, it looks like we got a little bit of a coolant leak down there. Um, yeah, very, very cool. Cause like inside you'll see this awesome velour, right? But it's just tan velour. And you know, very nice condition overall. And these things are pretty much loaded from the factory. You know, you've got your, it's either a sunroof or a moonroof. Uh, you've even got the power locks and stuff like that, power windows, probably AC as well. And yeah, very, very cool. Power mirrors, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, if we move along here, we'll see this gorgeous uh, 72 Cheyenne Super 10. With very nice uh, small block in it. You know, and this is a pretty much mint condition truck. And of course, again, everything in here is for sale. So, um, you see, and there's the information. If you're interested, off in the back. Now, because this will probably be uploaded tomorrow. So, this will be uh, long gone before this video is fully uploaded. But, you know, I mean, I should say the, the event will be over, but it doesn't mean the vehicles will be sold, you know. You can always inquire about stuff after the fact. And a nice wood bed, which until the uh, square body Chevys actually, uh, wood beds were standard in um, Chevy pickups. So, 
Very cool. Love the nice exhaust tip there. Very fancy. And yeah. Very gorgeous. Now actually, this is a vehicle that I recognize because he's been at a couple of our uh, car meets in town. Uh, this is an 89 Mustang with an LSX with a big ass turbo on it. <laughs> You know, and this thing, well, it, it's a very serious car. Um, I can't remember what it's pulling for power, but, you know, this one is for sale. And if you are interested, you know, that's the price. A little eye-watering, but there's been a lot of money put into this car. A lot, a lot, a lot of money. And this thing is fast. Um, yeah, it's got a full cage and stuff like that in it, too, from what I remember. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's one hell of a car. And you see the exhaust like coming out there too, right? So, you know it's pretty serious when you see that. Now check out this cool old rat rod pickup. It's, this started out as a 1950 Ford F1, but well, as you can see, it's been altered quite a bit and you almost can't tell what it was. <laughs> but very, very cool. I love these custom headers. Like just the added details that they did to them. Very neat. Um, oh, there you go. Harkening back to the 70s with the gold Zodiac interior. That is fantastic. Now, well, and there's some stuff up on the headliner too, or where the headliner would be. Though these trucks probably wouldn't have come with a headliner from the factory. But, uh, yeah, very cool. I dig the vibe of this. 100%. This thing is neat. Very cool. Um, and if we take a look, actually, because I'm not sure if I'll be able to see it or not. Yeah, we can't really see what's under the hood there. Ford something, but I'm assuming small block, but hard to say. Um, beside it, I try to go down the road with those people there. That's a nice uh, Dooley, uh, Dooley Cummins. Second in round. Very nice shape. Honestly, usually you find these and they're just like totally road set. All right, continuing along here, we have a cool old square body. Um, this one, I'm not sure what year it is, but I know it's a little later of one, like this is 80s, due to the fact that it has these square headlights. But I don't know exactly what year it is, but as you can see, there is no drivetrain in it whatsoever. But, it's a pretty cool truck, because like the thing is, with these square bodies, I mean, they're going up in value. And now this one is a step side. So, that is a bit of a rarity actually to find um, nowadays. And, uh, yeah, it's actually a very, very cool truck. And not super rusty. Like, it does have some rust. But it's not horrible, right? Definitely not horrible. Oh, um, if you take a look at the other side. Okay, you see, there's the information if you want to contact him about it. Um, yeah, sweet old... C10 now it does come with uh, non step side bed sides, but I love the step sides more. So and I guess some people don't, but I do. Now see inside, very cool. These look like uh, later like OBS style seats, I think. I could be wrong, but that's kind of what they look like. But uh, yeah, wood bed floor. That's got some goodies in the back too. But uh, yeah, here's another one. And I'm like checking out some of the stuff around here. That's some really cool stuff. Like uh, you see all these old helmets and stuff like that. Um, see like a big block torquer. You know, demon carbs, full master mufflers, all this different stuff here. They're just like, and there is like, cause this is a performance oriented show, but it does have some stock parts as well that you can find for some things. But, uh, yeah, because, like, unfortunately, I haven't really found what I needed here. Like, there are no 88s 
which surprises me because usually there's quite a few, but uh, you know, you can still see it is still quite busy in here. And uh, yeah, just lots of stuff to look at, like even this cool custom built chassis with the air ride and everything, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, take a look at those welds. Like, wow. That is a beaut. Even the wheels are kick ass too. Oh yeah. That is really neat. This is for a 91. Well, that is way cool. You know, the 3.8 Ford or not? Oh, You know. That's gorgeous. And here we go. Here's another uh, sweet old rat rod. It's 1930. Um, now this one, I've been trying to film this thing all day, but there's been so many people crowded around it. So, uh, yeah. Very neat, though. Um, with the Hemi in it and everything. As yeah, so this beauty with the, uh, the old Chevrolet with the awesome Hemi in it, I actually got to sit in it, which was really neat. Um, you know, they, they actually offered. So, very happy about that. And uh, yeah, there'll be a picture on that as well. For those of you. Uh, here we have a really cool barn find, actually. 56, I think? Uh, maybe 55. Two-door uh, hard top, or two-door post. It is a 56, that's what I thought. That's cool. Right? Fresh as it was in the barn. I absolutely love it. Um, ooh, actually, floors are really nice back here, too. That's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, one thing is, the uh, gas is in behind the taillight there, so pretty neat. Right, well, luck would have it. I actually found some stuff. So here we have a few Hot Wheels cars. Like we have a 67 Chevelle, a, uh, a Honda M600, and a 76 Greenway Corvette. Really cool Hot Wheels. And then the thing that I'm most proud of finding is this. Now you might look at that and go, what is that? Well, it's actually a Hurst uh, T5 short shifter that I only paid 150 bucks for. Absolute steal. These things go for about 400 bucks. Like, just worth every penny on that. Um, and then, very happy. I'm like, it, 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 it's all good. It still has, like, the grease in the bottom of it. You know? And uh, I was surprised. It was only up for, like, 175. I paid 150 for it. Um, and then here, we have this awesome Edelbrock... Uh, air cleaner which now this one it's very clean it's nice you know these retail for over 200 bucks and i picked this one off for 80 bucks so it'll go on stitch or on lilo very well and i'm very very happy with that so yay all right so continuing along here you know we've got some really cool mercury uh grills and stuff like that um you know they're really neat and like and it's interesting because this is off of a mercury truck but the thing is the mercury trucks only existed in canada which they're just a ford um that literally is just a ford with different badging on it for the canadian market um so that we didn't have to pay the uh the tariffs right that's exactly what it was got some fury a fury 2 grill which is sweet and ooh, that looks like a polaro grill down there too very cool oh. Some of the stuff that you see is quite neat. Got a nice little bucket seat. Cool little bike, which I don't know what it is, but it's pretty neat. You know, uh, it looks like a Harley, uh, I can't remember what these were called, but uh, like Hondas with shadow, but I can't remember what the small Harley was, but I think that's what that is. Right? Very cool, you know, some small little nicky nacky parts. Very nice. Hang along. I've got some badass freaking headers there. Holy crap. Those are cool. 
Yeah, see, and there's lots of stuff around, like, uh, you know, even this uh, performer intake here. You know, what's interesting, though, is that it's adapted to a TBI unit. So that's kind of neat. Now you got quarter windows and a bunch of little knickknacks and, like, you know, stuff like uh, temperature gauge. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I'll think about those. It's right by where I'm stationed, so not too bad at all. You know, like seeing all these really cool, like, uh, badges and stuff like that. Um, ooh, actually, I like those Datsun ones. And maybe that Mercury one, too. I'll keep those in mind. Yeah, I'm like, hey, look, a 488, except for not for my application because it's been modified to fit a full um, Mopar A body. So, unfortunately, that won't work, plus it's more than I want to spend anyways on an 88. So, it's the only 88 I've seen at this entire show. I've seen a couple of Danas, like, you know, just like there's a Dana 60 housing here. There's another Dana back there. You know, pretty cool. You know, and that's a um, nice distributor for Ford FE motor, actually. So that's like your 390, 428, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, got cool carb spacers, and uh, yeah, there's some cool, cool stuff. Always cool stuff at the swap meets. Yeah? Like, ooh, check those out. Those are cool. I like those. Well, look at that. So, uh, when you come out to a swap meet, it's kind of interesting. Like, a uh, guy over there um, was just uh, saying that, you know, he's from Kelowna. He actually had a shop. Uh, if I wanted to come check it out, film some stuff out there, you know, feel free. Which is really cool, actually. I, I love when people do that. Because you never know, you know, what's going to happen. Like, the thing is, it's, it's kind of fun carrying a camera around and then, you know, people will talk to you that way. So, uh, yeah. Um, and like, and Kelowna, like I haven't been there in a few years. I, um, my grandma actually lives in Kelowna and I've been meaning to visit, but it's been, I don't even know how long. So, uh, yeah, quite a number of years. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video though, because I am getting tired and like, you know, going up and down these roads right now. I've been here since 8 a.m. Uh, it is currently, I think, around 2, so I got up at 6. So, yeah, it's definitely uh, been a day for sure. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'm sorry if it wasn't uh, my absolute self because again, really tired and just brain isn't working as well as it could be today. Um, but you know, I did get some stuff and uh, yeah, I'm very happy. Um, you know, it's been a really good day. Got to meet some people that I haven't uh, met before. And, uh, excuse me. And uh, yeah, so, you know, sorry, there was a line people there so i know i just wanted to get by but uh anyways i hope you did enjoy if you did you know please like the video comment anything you want to see down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as well if you want to contact me you can at katarina's garage on instagram or katarina's garage on facebook and uh yeah also follow me on tiktok at katarina's garage as well hope you're staying safe during covid19 good luck with what we're working on and i'll catch you in the next one bye